So you want to take your static scene, add some camera movement to make it look like everything is shaking. Well, let's get started. Let's begin by deleting the default cube and the light to set up a basic scene. Select the camera and reset the transforms. Slightly back on the Y axis and 90 degrees on the X. Press Shift A to add a mesh and select Plane Mesh. Turn it 90 degrees on the X and set the aspect ratio to that of the image you'll be using. I'm using 16 to 9. Press 0 on the numpad to get the camera view and S to scale the plane to a little larger than the size of the camera window since it will be moving in the animation. Head over to the shader tab, add a new material and rename it to something appropriate. Or inappropriate, that's up to you. Shift A to search for a new node and add an image texture. Connect the color to base color and select the image you want to use. Add the image color to the emission color as well to give it some life. Head over to the animation tab. I like to see the render view on one side so I can see the effect output and the full scene on the other side to see what's happening behind the scenes. Now we select the camera since that's what we want to animate. Set the current frame in the dope sheet to zero. Hover over your camera and press I. Select location to set keyframes for the X, Y and Z. Then set current frame in the dope sheet to your last frame and do the same thing. Now add a new window if you still want to see the dope sheet by dragging a crosshair from the corner. Then change one of the windows to the graph editor. Here you will see the X, Y and Z keyframed locations. Select one of them, go to the modifiers tab and add a noise modifier. Press spacebar to run the animation and boom. Play around with the scale and strength values to get the effect you want. I'll go with a small and smooth shake for this earthquake scene. Once you're happy, then select the next axis and do the same thing. Add modifier and adjust. Remember that the combination of effects from each axis will be compounding. So it's better to keep them smaller than you think initially. And adjust them once they are all moving. But that's all the time that we have for tonight's show, folks. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something new. Please leave any questions or comments you have down below. Feel free to like, share and subscribe for more. Cheers for now.